Special thanks to YouTuber Justin Fung for recommending me to do a tutorial on this mod. What is up everybody, it is Sam here, and today I'm going to teach you how to install the Flans mod for Minecraft 1.8 on your Mac. Here we go. So the first thing you need to do is install Forge. I will not be demonstrating how to install Forge in this video because I have already created a tutorial on how to do so. You can find that tutorial in the description below. However, if you already have Forge 1.8 installed, you don't need to worry about it and you can continue watching this video. If you don't have it installed, watch my tutorial first, then come back and finish this video. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so the second link in the description below should take you to the Flans Mod download page. What you have to do is click this big fat download button right here that says download current. Click that. It'll take you to a Mediafire page. Press download now. Let's get out of that. Let's go back to the download page. Then what you want to do is click content packs. Under content packs, I highly, just pick a pack. I, um, I think I'm just going to pick the um, modern weapons pack because I think that actually looks pretty cool. So I'm going to download the modern weapons pack. This will take you to an ad fly and um, your download link will appear in the upper right hand corner. Once the skip ad button appears, click that. It'll take you to media fire once again, then press the green download button. Now let's get out of this. Let's drag these two files to our desktop and let's unzip our flans mod file. Now let's drag the dot zip to the trash. All right, so in your folder, you have two other folders, one that says flan and one that says mods. Okay, so here's the deal with these two files. This right here is the mod is itself. This right here is an optional addition that you can add to it. Same, same goes with this one. So I'm not going to worry about those two. Instead, I am just going to worry about the mod itself. So I'm going to drag that to the desktop. I'm going to get out of that. I'm going to open a new finder window. I'm going to press go, and then I'm going to click go to folder. Copy and paste this code from the description below into the go to folder field, then press go. Press application support. Minecraft and in your mods folder drag this file into your mods folder do not drag your modern warfare content into this folder keep this window open and let's open our Minecraft application make sure the forge profile is selected then press play once that is complete press quick game now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this file into a new folder that just popped up in the Minecraft folder called flan so I'm going to drag my modern warfare content dot jar into the flan folder I can now get out of there. I'm just going to drag this folder to the trash. Now I'm going to reopen my Minecraft application once again. Make sure your Forge profile is selected, then press play. Okay, let's open up a single player world. I'm going to create a new world. I'm going to make it creative and let's get it going. As you can see, I'm in a regular landscape right here. Nothing too special, but if I go into my inventory, there are two windows. As you can see right here, there are two windows. So these are the different guns, these are the vehicles, these are the mod parts, and these are the team stuff. So I'm just going to dress myself up in team stuff to demonstrate exactly how this works. Let's check this out. Just gonna make myself look really, really good. There you go, I am all dressed up and it's really heavy. As you can see, I'm, I'm walking at normal pace and I'm moving super slow because this has added extra weight to my character. So I'm now going to try out a gun. Let's see, I'm going to pick, hmm, what to pick, what to pick. Okay, I'm going to try out a Glock. So I'm going to get a uh, Glock ammunition clip right there. And uh, let's see where the Glock is, here we go. All right, let's give it a shot. That reloads, and that fires. Yep, that's all there is to it, you guys. So that those are weapons. So I'm going to demonstrate exactly what happens when I try to use a vehicle, because for some reason this does not work. So here is a Cobra. Sounds like fun, right? Watch what happens when I place it. Yeah, that is the one issue. So the one problem with this mod is that for some strange reason, vehicles do not work. I don't know if it's the same for PC, but for Mac, vehicles do not work. Otherwise, everything else works. And if anyone is able to find a way to get vehicles to work, I would love to know. So that way we can let everybody know 
that vehicles actually do work. Hopefully that is the case and maybe I'm just missing something. Well, everybody, that is it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or you want to suggest a new mod for my next video, please leave a comment below. I will do my best to answer it. Also, if you're new to the channel and you want to stay tuned for more cool content, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you really enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button down below as well. If you are not already, make sure to follow me on Twitter, like the Facebook fan page, and follow me on Google+. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I am Sam, and I'm signing off.